guys and welcome to my channel. I'm Kristen and today I am going to be doing some Dollar Tree one dollar DIYs. I'm going to be using the rub on transfers from the Dollar Tree and I'm really excited about these. These are going to be some really quick and easy one dollar Dollar Tree DIYs. Let's get into it. first DIY I'll be making coasters which I really won't be making them but I'll just be making them just a little bit cuter than what they were. Dollar Tree has these coasters along with these little rub-on transfer stickers and I just use the one two three and four just to make these a little more farmhouse. I think they're a little more modern and then if you actually want to use these as real coasters all you have to do is put some polyacrylic on them. I love the polyacrylic spray and you just pick it up at Walmart but this was it. This was the only thing I did for this. Coasters are coasters. Today's video is also sponsored by Top Cash Back. I absolutely love using Top Cash Back. It is a great way to save money by shopping online. There's over 4,000 retailers, but we're going to take a look at Dollar Tree. You can save 4% cash back when you shop online. And now they have all the wood crafting items. But what I love most is that you guys can check out all the new items that they're having. And I did see that Dollar Tree is having the crafter square in every single store so that is amazing it always gives us more opportunities and then I love that they also have a smaller quantity category so if you go up to the menu and the Dollar Tree it has smaller quantities so you don't have to buy 24 or 30 or however many of the larger quantities you can get up to like three four I just absolutely love that because we always buy at least three or four or five, maybe six items, especially the wooden pieces. I always pick up a ton, but they have the little flower and garden buckets. I think that is super great. The thing I love about topcashback.com is that when you go to their website, it's super easy to sign up. You just enter your name, address, and there is no minimum payout. So you can make $5 in cash in on it, which I think is Super amazing, and you can cash in using PayPal. If you don't have PayPal or you don't want to use your checking account, you can always receive gift cards as well, which gift cards are just as great to me. And I love shopping from Amazon, Target. I love Tractor Supply. I love that they have that on there because we have animals, and we're always using that. And then you get a $10 top cashback sign-up bonus and cashback for anyone signing up when they spend $25. But if you guys want to sign up for topcashback.com, it is completely free and I will leave the link in the description box below for you. Second DIY, I'll be making these cute little wall hangings. I'll be using these wood pieces from Walmart. 98 cents is what they cost. Waverly chalk paint in white. And I will also be using the Waverly chalk paint in ink. And I'm just going to be painting these wooden pieces. I was trying to go for a more modern farmhouse look with these. And this was so simple and this was so inexpensive to use. It pretty much cost me under $5 to make all of these, which I think that is so exciting and how inexpensive to make some super pretty wall decor. I'm just going to be painting the fronts. I did not paint the back because they are just going to go along the wall. And then I just use these rub on transfers. I just cut some out and laid them on the centers of the wood pieces and I just lay them how I wanted. And then I just use my Cricut scraper. You can use a credit card. You can also use your finger. I think the more heat, the better these come off easy. Uh, so if they don't come off the first time, definitely just like rub it around with your finger. But these are really fun to use and they definitely beat using stickers because they don't come off as easy as stickers. So I love these. I think these are so pretty. So if you can find any type of robot transfer at Dollar Tree, I definitely recommend you go and pick some up. I'm just going to use this faux leather ribbon. This is also from the Dollar Tree. I have not been able to find this myself, but my friend Nicole sent me these 
three. She sent three different colors, but I love this light camel color and this black, and I thought it would go great just to have uh, to hang these wood pieces on the wall. DIY is just these wooden houses. I love how these turned out. I used the wooden houses from the Dollar Tree and I just flipped them over and painted them white. Um, normally I just use them as like shadow boxes but I'm kind of getting a little bored of the shadow box type versions of these wooden houses. I'm using these rub-on transfers from the Dollar Tree and I just pulled apart and cut some out of like the I'd say it's greenery but it's black uh, but just like the floral designs type and I just laid them on the sides because I'm gonna end up adding numbers to the center. So the numbers I did end up using my Cricut machine and this is just in the Times New Roman. I wanted one, two, and three on these. And I love how these turned out. I think they are so pretty and they were so simple and easy to do. And like I said, the rub-on transfers are so fun to use, but if they don't come off the first time, just rub it along with your finger or just, just do it a little bit harder with a scraper or a credit card or whatever you have on hand and they will eventually come off. But I love the way these look. I think these look super high end. This DIY, I'm going to be using these little wooden blocks from Dollar Tree. And I did them a few different ways because there's so many different sides. I thought, why not just do a bunch of different ways? These are the wood craft cubes. And I'm just going to be using the Waverly Chalk Paint in ink and Waverly Chalk Paint in white once again. So I painted two of them black and I painted two of them, or two of them. I painted four of them white. And I thought for the white ones, it'd be really neat to have different things on different sides. So in case we want to switch it up a little bit. So I decided to use home. And like I said, these are with the rub-on transfers that I showed you previously with the houses. And I just kept using the same sheet over and over again because one, it saves a lot of money for this DIY project, but two, it saved a lot of money just to make this video in general. So I was able to use the same rub-on transfer sheets with just a couple different items from Dollar Tree. And I didn't have to buy a ton of stuff, but this actually turned out so good. So I did home on one side. I did some greenery, slash eucalyptus on another love on one side just in case I wanted to switch it up for valentines or just regular decor and I'm reusing these like I said I just reused um, different sheets and just added different things I wanted to use some of these transfer sheets up to be honest I've had them forever so really excited and then I just decided to use one two three and four once again so I think I did actually use two of these sheets uh, I've just had a lot laying around for a while and I never knew what to do with them. So I hope this gives you some inspiration on what to do with these little transfer stickers if you find them at Dollar Tree.
All right, you guys, that's it for the video. If you enjoyed this Dollar Tree Modern Farmhouse DIYs, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you are new to my channel, I would love if you considered sticking around and subscribing. Also, don't forget to check out topcashback.com. It is completely free to join. And since we all love shopping online, we might as well make money doing it. <laughs> but that is it. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye.